Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us. This is Yoel Cortex, Senior Librarian at Ex Libris, and today we're going to be discussing using an input file together with Alma data in data visualization and Alma analytics. This is part of the OAS, the Oracle Analytics Server, including the data visualization, and this is an integral part of the Ex Libris higher education platform. So, Let's see how this works. Let's just jump right in. From within Alma, we will choose Analytics and Data Visualization. And then we click Data Visualization, and that will bring us right to the Data Visualization. But before we actually create our input file, let's take a look at the file itself. So this is the file we've got. We have the purchase order line from the finance department. This is a field that also exists in Alma. And then we have the initiator of the purchase order line. This is a field that does not exist in Alma. But we want to match the purchase order line we got from the finance department with the purchase order line in Alma. And from that, see the total expenditures per initiator. So let's see how that works. Let's first of all close this file. And we're going to create a project. Now, those of you, excuse me, we're going to create a data set. Those of you who have been with us in the previous sessions know that usually we've created a project. Now we're doing something a little different and creating a data set. So let's click here to choose the file that we want to use. And I'm just going to navigate to that file. And I've got it in my C input here. We'll say all files, and let's select the file. So now that file is uploading, creating a data set, and here it is. Now you see in the data, visual, data visualization the same file, the purchase order line from finance and the initiator of the POL. And you can see, by the way, this is type attribute, text, etc., etc. We're going to leave it that way. That's also how it is defined in Alma. And let's just give it another name here. I'm going to call it P-O-L and Initiator. Okay. Uh, so that's all we need. Everything else we could change if we wanted. The description, the name of the upload file. But let's just leave it the way it is and... Add. So we're creating now a data set called POL and initiator add. And it's adding and it's added. Now, I need to, if I want to compare this with what's in Alma, to mix this with a project. Uh, and I can create a project directly from here, say create project, and then this would be part of a new project. But in order to explain things, I'm on purpose going to close this and show something else. So if I go home now and I say create and I create a project, now I can choose that data set. We just saved this a second ago, POL and initiator. Here it is. One moment ago, we saved this. Or I can choose a subject area. So now I can choose if I want just this. And now it's like I have my own subject area. I can drag this in and I can drag this in. And here I can do whatever I'd like. I've got the data from the input file in front of me here in Alma Analytics or in data visualization. So now let's mix with that the funds expenditure subject area. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to click here to add to this. And we're going to choose to add a data set. And when we add a data set, we'll switch to the subject area tab and choose the funds expenditures. So now we have two things in our project. We have the POL initiator, which is originally what we added here with the purchase order line from finance and the initiator of the purchase order line. And we have the funds expenditure subject area. So we've got them both together now. But we need to match now the purchase order line that came in 
from the Excel file with the purchase order line in the funds expenditure subject area. So how do we do that? We're going to go to the prepare, clicking here prepare on the top, and here with that data diagram on the bottom. We're going to use the data diagram to match the two fields. And you can see here we have the funds expenditure subject area, the POL and initiator data set. There's zero in the middle because there's no matches. But if I click that zero, now I can start making matches. So I'm going to say add a match, or add another match it's called, and I'm going to match the purchase order line from the finance department. Here it is with the purchase order line reference from the PO line folder. So here in the funds expenditures subject area, I'll choose the PO line folder. And inside the PO line folder, we'll choose the PO line reference. Here it is, PO line reference and OK. So we're matching now the PO line from finance with the PO line reference OK. And now we've got a one in the middle because now there is a match. So now we can go back to the visualize. Up here, I'm clicking visualize. And now we can add to this table the funds expenditure information. So I'm going to go to the funds expenditure. And in the fund transactions information, uh, I can say, let's add here. I'm going to make this pane a little bigger and we'll add the expenditure amount. So now I've got the expenditure amount that's coming in. Now I've got the expenditure amount. Now sometimes there's not an initiator of the POL because now I have all of the expenditure amounts for all of the purchase order lines. But if I want only the, only the purchase order lines where the initiator of the purchase order line is null. In other words, the ones are not null, excuse me, uh, where there is an initiator of the purchase order line. In other words, it came in the input file. Then I can filter this by either dragging it to the top where we have the filters, or I can make an expression filter here. I'll choose filter, add expression filter, and now I can drag in, for example, here, the initiator of the POL. And say, for example, not no. Let's do a validate to make sure that's correct. Yes, it is. Apply. And now it's only going to give me ones where there is an initiator of the purchase order line. And that means it came from the input file. So now what we have in front of us here is a report combining the information from the input file with the information from Alma. This purchase order line exists in both files. The initiator exists only in the input file. The expenditure amount exists only in Alma. And now if we remove the purchase order line from the display, we have together here just the initiator of the purchase order line and the expenditure amount. We have together in one report information from both the input file and Alma. Let's just duplicate this, duplicate this visualization, and let's put that next to a pie. We'll make this one a pie. We could make it a donut even. Maybe we'll make it a donut. So now we see here that Professor Zafrani has 28% and Professor Jones has 26%. Let's see how other methods we can use here. Here's the pie. And break that down all different ways. So that's how we can combine information from an input file with information from Alma using data visualization. Thank you very much and have a nice day.